back at the scene of the rail disaster here in Philadelphia. In the last half hour, we've seen the crews begin to work with those large cranes. They've begun removing the Amtrak rail cars from the scene of last night's wreck. And the new track is being brought in to replace the rails that were torn up. At least seven people were killed when Amtrak train 188 en route from Washington to New York jumped the tracks. More than 200 people were injured. The NTSB says the train was traveling at more than 100 miles an hour, more than twice the speed limit. The engineer applied the emergency brake, but much too late. No word yet on when service between New York and Philadelphia will be restored. CBS This Morning will have the very latest overnight developments in this story first thing tomorrow. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley in Philadelphia. Good night. This is Oklahoma Zone. News 9 in high definition. Good evening. We're glad you're with us. And guess what? There's more heavy rain pushing across the state tonight. The storms are slowly moving out, but the risk for severe weather isn't over. So let's get right over to David for more. All right, guys. Well, good news that the rain just has not been that heavy to give us really any flooding problems and is not going to. That's the great news. The rain is still good, though. We are getting some runoff from that, but uh, no flooding across the metro. We're doing okay. We're cloudy. We're wet. The light rain continues. Let's go to the weather computer here and look at the wave of rain that's been moving across the state throughout the day light to moderate rain we do have some thunderstorms in northwest texas those are developing and those will try to scoot into possibly western and far southern oklahoma here the next several hours so i'm watching those carefully might produce a little wind a little hail down there but for oklahoma city and for places here to the north and to the south this is all light rain and then it ends, and then a few showers out around Clinton. Northern Oklahoma raining there. Heavy rain now coming in on Ada down to Ardmore. And here in Oklahoma City, light rain, and it continues to get lighter. This will end the next hour to an hour and a half from the west, and then we'll get a break. More rain, more storms lined up. What about the potential for severe weather? Has it gone up or has it gone down? Forecast coming up. Guys, back to you. All right, David. In the news tonight, some jaw-dropping video giving one Oklahoma City high school kind of a bad name. The video that some may find very disturbing shows students dancing with dead cats in a well-rehearsed performance. This nice Carl Torp spoke with a principal of Harding Charter Prep. At Harding Charter Prep, the grade is right here in the front. It's not just an A school. You can see right here, it's an A-plus school. And the principal says for that reason, this school has become more of a target after that video went viral. You have to be selected in a lottery to get in. Its graduation rate is 100% with all students going on to further education. It's gone viral and it's um, unfortunate. But Harding Charter Prep Principal Justin Hunt isn't being asked about those accolades now. I was shocked. Shocking is one way to describe the video from the fall of 2013, the last school year. Sick and stomach turning has been used by others. <laughs> Set to music from a Meow Mix commercial, eight high school students in lab coats whisk the cats side to side and up and down. Another student kneeling in the front directs the corpse choreography. All of it appearing to be practiced to perfection, including a shout out to their teacher in the end. How much role did the teacher play in this? Uh, I, the situation is still under investigation. We're still diving into it. Um, and so those, those details I'm, I'm not at liberty to reveal. Principal Hunt does say he'll look at the anatomy dissection program as a whole and highlight something that appears to have been overlooked. Educating them on the, the proper handling and respect of animals. Meanwhile, Harding Charter Prep hears from media outlets outside the country and outraged educators, all wanting to learn how dissection turned to dance. I think it was students that made a mistake and that uh, hopefully they'll learn from it. The school says after its own investigation, it will decide if any disciplinary action needs to be taken. In Northwest OKC, I'm Carl Torp, News 9. And because of the video you saw, Harding Charter Prep says it will now review its curriculum methods. Happening now, the search is on for this man, 24-year-old Tyrese Dotson. He is wanted for first-degree murder in the connection with a deadly stabbing. It was near Northwest 87th and Harvey Saturday nights. An arrest warrant was issued today. If you know where he is, call police. 
And in the meantime, the search continues for a gunman following a shooting in the parking lot of Northwest Baptist Church. Police say two people were shot near Northwest 23rd and Drexel after a fight broke out last night. We know one juvenile was arrested at the scene, but police are still looking for the man who opened fire. And police and more are investigating an alleged stabbing at the Long John Silvers near Northwest 12th and I-35. A worker inside the store called 911 this morning saying the manager was attacked by a robber. Police are now working to determine if this was an inside job. And Patricia Miller is arrested following what really is a bizarre robbery attempt in Muskogee. Listen to this. Police say Miller held a Petco employee at knife point yesterday. It was not for money, though. Miller demanded a snake. She's now being held on robbery and assault charges. That's a bizarre one. All right, five children are safe tonight following a high-water rescue down in Atoka County. Their father called for help when he got home from work yesterday, and nearly six feet of water covered the road in front of their home. Emergency workers used a couple of boats to get to the kids. The Red Cross is now assisting that family. Recent storms have dropped record rainfall in the metro, leaving rivers overflowing and ponds topping out. With even more rain expected between now and Saturday, first responders are on high alert for dangerous flooding. And today, News 9's Lisa Monahan found a group of firefighters brushing up on their rescue skills. We've seen areas across the metro prone to flooding recently. Now, this section of the North Canadian River here in Yukon is one of them. So authorities are trying to get ahead of this next storm and remind everyone, do not drive through high water. Now, if that warning is not enough, first responders will be ready thanks to some extra training. We try to set up and practice in a way that keeps us situationally aware of, of what we may face. Yukon firefighters are gearing up for high water rescues. It's like the old saying, you know, you, you play like you practice. And so we try hard to take our training seriously. We try hard to um, get proficient at it and get everybody, get everybody on the same page. Battalion Chief Kent Long says the number of flood related calls around the metro in recent days inspired this refresher course for his crew. Perfect. Nice throw. And the Yukon firefighters recognize there's an imminent danger in flood-prone areas for the next round of storms. We have the North Canadian River, you know, just north of town here at Highway 4, and that seems to swell out of its banks quite often. So when it does, there's a large area out there of Highway 4 that's underwater, and we've had several uh, stranded motorists out there. In most instances, firefighters will use throw bags during a high-water rescue. We have to practice on putting it in front of them where they can get to that rope for safety. The idea is to get the victim out of the water with minimal risk to the rescuers. Any type of high water brings all kinds of obstacles and dangers. I mean, um, some of those you can see, some of them you can't. We try hard to keep everything as safe as possible um, in water rescue. In Yukon, Lisa Monahan, News 9. It's great that they're practicing it. Rescue crews are also asking everyone to start making alternate plans for travel during the heavy rains, especially if you're familiar with flood-prone areas. So important. Here's another one we've been following closely. Two Asian elephants from Seattle are finally at their new home here in Oklahoma City. Despite several protests and legal challenges, Bamboo and Chai arrived safely this morning. They will be quarantined for 30 days before joining other elephants at the zoo. Traveling 6,000 miles across the country, a couple of military veterans made a stop at the Oklahoma City National Memorial today. They're raising awareness for Operation Keep Your Spanky. That's right, the program helps veterans keep their beloved pets during times of financial hardship. We're also following more stories for you online, including OHP troopers find the body of a missing spiral man. And a more restaurant manager claims he was stabbed. Plus, high water restricts access to Lake Stanley Draper. Those stories and more on News9.com. But coming up next here at 6, going above and beyond the call of duty why these Metro police officers are being called lifesavers. Well, it's been a wet and rainy day across Oklahoma. We'll get a break and then more rain, more storms. What about severe weather coming up? Your forecast is next. The OU football Sooners lose a former starter to transfer, but see their softball team honored in unprecedented fashion. And the Barons hosting a critical playoff game in hockey. Nothing is ever easy. Air Comfort Solutions technicians are trained to repair. Duck cleaning provides allergies you can catch. And what's even more difficult is spotting air conditioning trouble before it happens. With an energy savings agreement with Air Comfort Solutions, you'll get two tune-ups a year, same-day emergency service, and 15% off all repairs. Your winning call seven days a week.
Aircomfortsolutions.net, 721-3740. This is CBS Health Watch. For men with prostate cancer, proton therapy is an advanced radiation treatment option. Unlike x-ray radiation, protons deliver radiation precisely to the tumor, so there's less damage to healthy organs and tissues, which is especially important when treating prostate cancer. Patients report few side effects and are able to maintain their quality of life. Learn about treating prostate cancer at Procure.com. Sponsored by Procure Proton Therapy Center. I believe we're all given the potential to do something great and utilize our strengths. So when I have clients come to me feeling completely defeated and broken as if they have no hope, I'm eager to show them that there is a way and that we can help. The IRS seems to hold all the cards and they have the ability to levy wages, zero out bank accounts, and even seize assets. I have been with tax after tax companies that have failed me miserably. All of the money I invested with those firms have been to no avail. But Rachel's concern and professionalism exceeded my expectations and was what I was looking for all along. Rachel Pappy, she is just an amazing person. Every time I turn around, she's winning another award. Underneath that smile is an absolute lion when it comes to negotiating. Her knowledge of how to negotiate surpasses anyone that I've ever known. The IRS themselves have her come in and teach classes on their subject matter. We're not a short-term fix, we're a long-term solution. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet, y'all. Come on down and join our family, and we'll shake on it. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. It's on the ground. Oklahomans get more than their fair share of dangerous weather. I had a, a niece that was direct hit in Moore. Dr. Phil came to News 9 to share advice for adults and children. That's where they feel the anxiety building up. With another round of severe weather in the forecast, get strategies to prepare. If you do that as a family exercise, it can be a very positive thing that replaces anxiety with action. Thursday night at 10 on News 9. Welcome back. Their job is to serve and protect, but four Oklahoma City police officers were honored for going above and beyond the call of duty. We shared their stories with you last month, and today all four were given a special Lifesaver Award. News 9's Jessica Holly has more on their stories. Jess? Well, Kelly, to these four officers, their job goes beyond chasing down the bad guys and writing tickets. It's about lending a helping hand to anyone they meet. We first told you about the daring and cold rescue made by Master Sergeants Jimmy Parsons and J.R. Northrup in April. Strong winds on Lake Hefner overturned a kayak, leaving a woman treading to save her life for nearly an hour. We can hear her screaming, can't see her, so she's probably good 20 yards out. Her screams were pretty much what drove me to go out and get her. The next night, we shared the story of Officers Davin Boyett and Jeff Dutton. A welfare call to check on a car parked after hours in a park led to the discovery of a homeless family of five living in their vehicle. The two men filled up the mother's car with gas, purchased toys for the kiddos, and took them to a homeless shelter. And that's, that's the beauty of the job right there. I mean, it's fun to go chase bad guys and get into things. A month later, uh, Officer Davin Boyd still smiles thinking about that night. When we see stuff like this, we feel that woodmen should do what they do and recognize these um, brave young and brave men. <laughs> Today, Woodman of the World, a non-for-profit insurance company, honored these four men. It's, uh, it's one of those uh, things about being a police officer that I really enjoy. A lot of the calls are just so negative. It's great to have a positive call, kind of uplift your spirits and also maybe uplift the spirits of others. And Officer Boyett said it's not uncommon for an officer to spend their own money to help someone else in need. Kelly. All right, Jess, great story. Cool and rainy across our Air Comfort SkyCam network today. Boy, look at it downtown. David says the risk for severe weather is going to return for the weekend, perhaps. His full forecast coming up next. New KFC flatbread sliders. This one's only $1.49. This one, too, $1.49. Wow, this can't be. No, wait. Yes, it is. $1.49. This is craziness. It's still finger licking good. <laughs> 600 pre owns two days only. Madison Honda and Jim Norton Toyota are moving all pre owned inventory to Jim Norton Toyota for a giant pre owned.
pre-auction clearance. 100 pre-owns for less than 10 grand. 600 pre-owns starting at just 995. 15 lenders competing for your business and 1.74 for 78 months is available. 600 pre-owns. Nearly every make and model starting at just 995. Friday and Saturday only. Hurry to Jim Norton Toyota on the Northwest Expressway. This is the moment you've waited for. The lights go down. Your spirit soars. Your foot taps. Your soul sings. This is where it all started and where it never ends. With entertaining originals for miles. It's all smiles in Branson. Start planning your vacation today at explorebranson.com. If you want a great buy on home furnishings, the place to shop for it is Marquis Furniture and Hoffman's and more. We're overstocked, and we've marked down thousands of items in our inventory to move them and move them out fast. We've got to reduce our inventory. Bedroom, dining room, occasional tables, recliners, accessories. We're overstocked. It's a great opportunity for you, and an added bonus, 12 months to pay for it without any interest at Marquis and Hoffman's. Shop the overstock sale. You'll find the largest savings in history on slightly hail damaged new Fords this week at Joe Cooper Ford and Yukon. Get the all new 2015 F-150 Super Crew and save over $11,000 off retail MSRP. Save over $13,000 off retail MSRP on a new Explorer Sport. Get a new Fusion Titanium and save $10,200. These really are the largest discounts on new Fords in our history. Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford of Yukon. Who loves the Oklahoma? New KFC flatbread sliders. This one's only $1.49. This one, too. $1.49. Wow, this can't be. No, wait. Yes, it is. $1.49. This is craziness. It's still finger licking good. <laughs> a two pound model airplane has some weather researchers very excited. Converted into a flying computer, the so called drone could make spring actually safer for all of us. You're going to meet one scientist who thinks the new technology could be life saving tonight on News 9 at 10. You're watching Oklahoma Zone News 9 in high definition. Well, it was another wildly successful session of the wild weather camp for David and the News 9 weather team today. Look what they did to that poor lady. I know. As always, it was an entertaining show, this time at Fisher Elementary School and more. Are you checked out on that equipment? Well, I mean, Seriously, I mean, you could hurt children with I that. I can't do that in all counties of our state. <laughs> not, not, it's not legal in every License county. License interfere. Yeah. If you're interested in hosting a wild weather camp at your school, visit news9.com slash camp for all the info. It is a great production, a lot of fun, and the kids learn a ton of stuff. You were having fun down there, too. I always do. You can tell. It's so much fun. Yeah. It is. And yeah. kids are great. I mean, we had a blast down there today. and. Uh, you know, talking about tornadoes, really, it's all about safety and what to do. And That's I mean, good. You know, it's so I, important. Today was amazing, though. I mean, it's in Moore, but uh, we said, how many people in here have a safe room or a storm shelter? Yeah. And I'd say 60 to 70 percent of, what, 500 kids, hands I raised. Bet. I Pretty bet. amazing. Yeah. And you know what's so important so, about that is you teach them to be aware, not scared. Not afraid. Yeah. That's right. Be aware, not scared. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're going to have severe weather. We're going to have tornadoes. Okay. So how do we do and, and how do we deal with it when they're coming at us and what do we do to keep us and our family safe? Yeah. It's so important. It's so important. And Glad it's all we about planning. we weren't dealing with that today, at least no. severe weather-wise. No, we're not. And we don't have any flooding going on. We've had light to moderate to heavy rain earlier, but rain now is on the light side here in Oklahoma City. Cloudy skies. Every one of our cameras, it is still raining, but it is light. No flooding going on, which is good. And there won't be any flooding this evening, okay? Here in Oklahoma City, here we go. On a Monday afternoon, let's go to the weather computer. Look at all the rain across Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, down through Oklahoma, down into Texas. Everything here lifting north, but also pushing east. And you can see the spin going on out in the Texas panhandle. That is the area of low pressure. That is the center of the storm, again, out here. And we're getting a little bit of some dry air right in here. We actually have a dry line today way out in West Texas. And we're getting a thunder, couple of thunderstorms in here that will push north and east and try to scoot into western and southwestern Oklahoma for this evening, giving you maybe a little bit of lightning and thunder out here, but nothing too crazy. The rain, again, it's about ready to end in Oklahoma City. A few showers out near Clinton. This is the big wave right now, running from Oklahoma City to Enid and Medford. From there east, it's nothing but rain. A few showers in the west. Rain from Oklahoma City down to Ardmore, to Ada, to Atoka. It keeps pushing east. And here in Oklahoma City, 
light rain, but look at there, it's drying out now in El Reno. This main wave will push on by between now and about 730, all right? And then we still might see a few more showers develop, at least off and on, throughout your evening hours. But right now, the light rain continues to fall. But again, it's going to end. It will not do this all evening long. Rainfall amounts about a half an inch on average here in Oklahoma City. Some places like Jones, three quarters of an inch. That's a good rain. Also Midwest City. But look at Fort Cobb, nearly an inch down there. Guthrie, about a quarter of an inch. And it's been a good rain again today for western and southwestern Oklahoma. Most locations in the west and southwest, nearly an inch of rain. And a lot of this rain, folks, it has been running off into the creeks. It'll help bring up those lakes into western Oklahoma, which is exactly what we need. Numbers out there right now, 50s and 60s. This evening, that widespread rain will continue to push into eastern Oklahoma. We'll watch western and southwestern Oklahoma for some more showers and storms to push in here. I really think by 7.30 here in Oklahoma City, the rain will just be a 30% chance. Overnight tonight, lows in the 60s. It'll be fairly cool with the south breeze and overnight tonight, best chance of rain, mainly northeastern and eastern Oklahoma. Slight chance elsewhere. And let's talk about tomorrow. Hey, I think we see some sunshine by midday, low 80s. South winds will pick up, warm front lifts back through. And tomorrow, slight chance for a shower. A little bit better chance late in the day, possibly by tomorrow evening. That would be southwestern Oklahoma. And then for your Friday, highs in the 70s and 80s. A wave of rain and storms, I think, moves into Oklahoma Friday morning through midday. We'll do a 60% chance for showers and storms. Some of those on Friday out west later in the day might produce a little wind, a little hail. And then for Saturday, a little hail, a little wind. A few of these storms severe. The tornado threat Saturday, it's still there, but it's not locked in because we might not be unstable enough to get that big-time severe weather. There is still a question mark on Saturday. All right, now through 7 o'clock, light rain. 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock, 30% chance for rain. Tomorrow, mainly dry. Friday, 60% chance for rain and storms. Saturday, 80% chance for rain and storms. And again, we got to watch Friday and Saturday. But you know what? We get some quiet weather back in here for Sunday and Monday. But here we go again. Another storm in here Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And with that, more rain and possibly more severe weather. And between Friday and Saturday, we might have more flooding problems because the rain amounts will be a lot heavier than what we received today. So we've got to watch Friday and Saturday, severe weather included. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for all yep. of that. David, thanks. Now, time to put a grant in your hand. Text the word BEACH to 79640 for your chance to win 1000 bucks, And we'll give you another opportunity to enter tonight on News 9 at 10 and then on News 9 this morning. Coming up, there will be a change in the Sooner backfield this fall. A running back is on his way out of Oklahoma. Sports is next. News 9 in high definition is sponsored by Cox, Oklahoma City's best choice for HD. Survivor tonight. The Alliance wants Mike gone. It's Mike against everyone. He's the biggest threat still in the game. And he'll do anything. Your Alliance is going for you. Dan is voting one of you two with the boys to win. Go! I couldn't be vulnerable, so I've got to win the immunity to stay in this game. We are neck and neck right now. And with just two episodes to go, it is anybody's game to win. New Survivor, CBS Tonight. What could be more romantic than a boy, a girl, a car, and the open road? Let's face it, love is the greatest adventure of all. And heading deep into the heart of Oklahoma might just remind you that the greatest luxury of all is being alone together. Find romance on Adventure Road. Finally, there's a place in Oklahoma where the art of romance is alive, where the art of relaxation soothes you, where the art of Native America awaits you. Welcome to the Artesian Hotel, Casino, and Spa and the Artesian Arts Festival on May 23rd, featuring renowned Native American artists selling their exquisite works. True family fun for everyone in Sulphur, Oklahoma. The Artesian Hotel, Casino, and Spa. The art of escape. 
600 pre-owned. Two days only. Madison Honda and Jim Norton Toyota are moving all pre-owned inventory to Jim Norton Toyota for a giant pre-auction clearance. 100 pre-owns for less than 10 grand. 600 pre-owns starting at just 995. 15 lenders competing for your business and 1.74 for 78 months is available. 600 pre-owns. Nearly every make and model starting at just 995. Friday and Saturday only. Hurry to Jim Norton Toyota on the Northwest Expressway. It started with a find that made headlines. A dry lake bed in Florida exposed a trove of ancient canoes that told a story of prehistory. Mighty trees transformed into vessels that traveled the highways of antiquity. Rivers carried paddlers and passengers across the continent, unleashing wave after wave of change. Experience the exhibit the Wall Street Journal called Magnificent. Dugout canoes paddling through the Americas. The world's largest discovery of ancient watercraft is now a sweeping tale of how they transformed the landscape. At the Chickasaw Cultural Center, now open. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit Batteries Plus bulbs today. Bike won't start? Scoot on into Batteries Plus bulbs and save $10 on Duracell Ultra AGM motorcycle batteries. Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, this is News 9 Sports with Dean Blevins. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Midwest Sports Desk. OU running back Keith Ford is transferring. The junior-to-be was well-respected by players and coaches, but suspended indefinitely in March for academic and team rules violations. Through three games last season, Ford was the starter, the leading rusher, a top receiver, and led the Big 12 in scoring. A broken leg in Game 3 against Tennessee cost him five games and his starting position to freshman phenom Samaje Pirine. After his suspension, Ford's parents said he hadn't recovered physically or mentally from the injury. Ford's statement reads, the past two years with OU, it's been a great experience. However, after my injury last season, I never fully recovered. And since that time, I had a chance to evaluate my role at OU with my family and decided it's time to start a new chapter. A loaded backfield surely contributed to the decision. P. Ryan, Joe Mixon's big expectations, Alex Ross, a proven player and will play. Freshman Rodney Anderson enrolled this spring and lit it up before an MCL sprain, and then Brooks. OU's Big 12 championship softball team becomes the first in Big 12 history to capture each of the four major end-of-the-season awards. Patty Gasso, eighth Big 12 coach of the year, fourth straight season. Shelby Penley, two-time player of the year. Paige Parker, the pitcher of the year and co-freshman of the year. Nothing for NCAA home run queen Lauren Chamberlain. Oklahoma City Barons in a critical game for tonight at the Cox Convention Center at 7 o'clock. And Chuck Fisher joins us live from downtown. Chuck, what you got? Well, Dean, the Barons' stay in Oklahoma City will be over whenever this season is done, and a loss to the Unica Comets will put them in a 3-1 hole in this Western Conference semifinal series. The Barons won the first game on the road and then lost the previous two. And while extending their stay in Oklahoma City is a nice thought, the Barons are more focused on just playing better tonight. Tonight we just got to come with a team game. Um, I think that uh, last game we got away from uh, playing a full 60 minutes, and uh, you know that's that's not our game. We need to work hard and we need to play the full 60. And I think uh, as long as we do that, we'll be all right. And it's not exactly a must win, but it's as close as you can get down to one. Utica and Oklahoma City play tonight and tomorrow night. If the Barons lose both of those, you can say bye-bye to hockey in Oklahoma City for the foreseeable future. Live at the Cox Center, Chuck Fisher, News 9 Sports. Thank you, Chuck. The Dodgers look to snap a three-game losing streak with an early game in the Big Easy. Hey, critters down there. Dodgers get off to a quick start, scoring four runs in the second. Darnell Sweeney singles to right. Two runs score, four to nothing. Oklahoma City, but the Zephyrs come storming back. 
10 unanswered to win at 10-4. Dodgers still have twice as many as they've lost as they've gotten off to a great start. Well, this is a strange animal. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was expecting uh, something else, but... That uh, surprised you, too. Yeah, it did. That'll right. get your attention, right? What, what a zephyr, I don't think. <laughs> a what? There you go. <laughs> a live look outside. Look at there. A little light rain. Okay, we'll have more for you at 10 o'clock. Chris Jenner's first words about Bruce's transition special, plus Taylor Swift's PDA on set with Melissa McCarthy and Steve Jonagos oh, Country. E.T. is next. Nobody treats you better than Byford. 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 Before my legal career, I had worked in the medical field. I really enjoyed helping patients. I believe that that experience that I gained from working in healthcare helps me to be a better advocate for my personal injury clients. Residential home construction is on the rise, and there's no better time than now to start thinking about building a Richardson home. At just $81 per square foot built on your land, affordability is at an all-time high, which means it's easier than ever to enjoy luxurious standard amenities like granite countertops, crown molding, and whirlpool tubs. Plus, with environmentally green features like 2 by 6 studs and foam insulation built in every home, you'll continue to save money for years to come. Call today and find out just how good life can be living in a Richardson home. It's Statuary World's Memorial Day Pool and Patio Sale. We've knocked down our already reduced prices even more on all outdoor furniture and fountains. This seven-piece wicker group is now $7.17. This five-piece mountain group is reduced to $38.39. Take an additional 20% off all fountains. Buy a Louisiana pellet grill and get a free cover and pellets. Get ready for summer and save during Statuary World's Memorial Day Pool and Patio Sale. Statuary World Patio and Fireside. The Grand Casino Resort presents the music of Pink Floyd, Laser Spectacular, June 19th. For tickets, visit GrandResortOK.com. The Grand Casino Resort, just east of OKC on I-40. You'll find the largest savings in history on slightly hail-damaged new Fords this week at Joe Cooper Ford and Yukon. Get a new F-150 Super True and save $12,300 off retail MSRP. Save $13,500 off retail MSRP on a new F-250 XLT. Get a new Escape and save $7,800. These really are the largest discounts on new Fords in our history. Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford of Yukon. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Buying a car can be very stressful. When I have a friend that's looking for a car, the first name that comes to mind is Byford. Randy Byford takes that stress out of it. Nobody. Nobody treats you better. Treats you better than Byford. Than Byford. We have Chris Jenner's first words about Bruce's transition special. What she says now after taking heat over Diane Sawyer's sit down. Well, the Diane Sawyer special. Let people that have some misconceptions specifically about you. Everyone loves to jump at conclusions. Chris on about Bruce and which family member won't take part in the special. He feels a little uncomfortable. And then Taylor Swift out there with her man. We're the only show with the new PBA pictures. And see Jared Leto jacked as we present our expose. And his steroids, yeah. Hollywood's body transformations. Who said they've used steroids and who says they haven't? I hear rumors. But Steven Tyler is here with a new country album and he's getting real about Idol's cancellation. The other shows took a little fire away. And I don't take well to bullying. Pink blowing up body shamers and growing up. Now I'm hearing, my mom loves you. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. Awesome. Now, E.T., and like Pink's song, who knew? Everybody has been talking about Bruce Jenner's transition to a woman, except for the one person we want to hear from the most. Well, tonight, Chris Jenner is finally opening up to us. Yeah, and topic number one is Bruce. Their special airs Sunday and Monday on E. She also filled us in on which Kardashian didn't want to take part in the filming. Brooke Anderson got all the answers. There's nothing like freeing your soul and surrounding yourself with people that make you feel good about yourself. Your relationship with Bruce now? It's great. Yeah, we talk all the time. We still work together, and he's still the dad of my kids, and we have a really good relationship. The support you have all shown is beautiful. Just